Affinity Photo comes with a range of text options, but it's quite hard to create text like this right from your basic artistic text. I'm just going to quickly show you how to quickly create some text designs. So let's just go over here and Artistic Text Tool. Now, if you've got Designer, that makes it slightly easier, but I don't think there's any real features such as touch type as you get in Illustrator. So let's just create the word gradient. And of course, it goes off the edge, always the way. So you can see there you've got gradient. Now, you might find that you've got a solid color. So if you want to add a gradient, you can always just go over here to the gradient tool. And you might find you've got that solid. So it might be, say, red, green, blue, black, or whatever. You can always go up here. And with this type, you can always set it to linear or elliptical. So elliptical, and you can apply it. Now, quite often with this, it's just two stops, which is not ideal. But what you can do, just click up here, and you'll notice along the right far left, you've got swatches. And I always just like to select a swatch. So I'm just going to select one of these swatches. And you can see as soon as you do that, you've got a whole range of different designs to work with. Now, linear there, I can put it back to elliptical. And then you can manipulate it. And you can see, obviously, sometimes it's not exactly right. You can stretch it out, all kinds of different designs. But say you want to move, like the G's and R's and all that sort of stuff, all over the place. If you've got designer, you can break it apart really nicely. But you can't do that in photo, which is really frustrating, personally. So what the best thing, which I always do, it's very quick and easy to do it, is just go, click there, and just add one. And always push it down, of course. Now, what I want to do now is I want to create, obviously, gradient. But often I just go, hold down the Alter Option key and just duplicate the drink. Now just move it a reasonable distance away. Don't want it too close because you might accidentally select the other one. And you can see there, I've got there, obviously gradient. Now, of course, if you go for a really complex set of words, it's going to be trickier. So again, you can hold that down, but then I've got the I, the E, and then the N and the T. Now, obviously at this point, that's not there. But you can simply go there and you can select with, again, Artistic Text Tool. And you can go to here and just quickly select and make that R and then click this one. And then you go A, set that one, D. And sometimes you can make a mistake and you, of course, can quickly correct it. It's quite easy to make a mistake. And then you can see E and then, obviously, I, E, spell it correctly. Now, of course, that's one problem with this when you rasterize it and all those sort of things if you want to. You then, of course, lose the ability to actually change it. But I'm just going to put N there and obviously T. And that is, I think, spelt correctly. Well, now you can see one problem with this. The gradient's not great. It's not how it was. You want a nice, colourful gradient over the whole lot. Well, what you can do is, oops, don't want that. Don't want to, want to select all of them. With them all selected, I can then again go to the gradient tool. And now I can drag over the gradient there. And now you can see, now you've got this lovely colorful gradient over all of the letters, which is what I want. I don't want the D to be exactly the same as the G in color. So I've got that. But also what you can then do is now I can then select this one and I can resize it. And you can see I can create all kinds of different designs that way. Now what you can also do, which is really useful, especially in Affinity, and some applications just don't allow to do this, but you can always go here to Layers, select them all. And you can, of course, if you want, maybe you want to convert it to curves. You've got them all selected. Simply select them all and then go over here. And you might see Convert to Curves there. But you also might see this. But I've got Convert to Curves there. So click that. And now you've got them. Now you obviously can't change the letters at this point. Same if you rasterize it, etc. You can't change it at that point. That's fine. I don't mind. I'm not worried about that. I want to resize it. But you can, if you want to just keep it as letters, just simply undo that. You can work with them as letters. You can see them there. And again, you can then go over here and you can select the individual letters. So you can put that there. Now, it actually starts to be, I think, it's slightly harder without, say, a shadow or some 3D to make the selection. I'm just going to go select them all again. You can just drag over all of them. And you can go to Effects. So click there. And I'm going to go for 3D. 
just a very subtle 3D, maybe radius. Just increase that to about six. And also you can go for outer shadow, so you just give it a bit of depth there with the shadow. And of course you can tweak it, add multiple ones. You've got options there for multiple shadows, which is quite nice as well. And click close. So you've got the word gradient. And again, now you can select the individual letters. And I find it easier when it's got a bit of shadow as well to select. Otherwise I have a tendency to select the wrong one. And you can see then you can just simply drag this and build up all kinds. You can still see the word gradient. And you can then, of course, manipulate it. You can rotate it. So just rotate that around. Up there, E, maybe make that bigger, maybe rotate that, and so on. So you can literally create all kinds of unusual designs. And you can still go, go and manipulate the gradient for that one. So you might decide, you know what, that one, I want to have it like that. Don't have to have it as the other ones, but undo. And then you can manipulate the, the end. Now you could, of course, hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate the end. So you could have maybe sort of an interesting effect like that. Or you could have like three in a row or something. Whatever. Or undo those again. And again, you can move that. Or maybe stretch it. So you can get a real sort of unusual stretch design like that. Again, rotate it. And again, you can always break it, convert it to a curve. And create some additional effects with it. So go up here. Convert to curve. The others I can leave. But it makes sense, you've obviously got the end for the word gradient. And then you can manipulate it. So you can select something, maybe create something slightly different. Maybe drag this out or drag that in and so on. Don't have to have exactly the same. Obviously now I've converted it because before, if I select that one, you can see I've still got access to the various fonts. So I can, Arial, I can always go, you know what I want, maybe this one, Arial Black. Or maybe go all the way down here. There's loads of them, of course. Beavers. And you can see, you can get a slightly different effect there by changing the font. And of course, you manipulate it even more. And also, if you want, you of course can apply styles to it. So window, and you go down here to styles. And obviously you've probably got a different set of styles, but you can select any of these styles. And you can see then you can apply that and create some interesting sort of additional designs with that way again. We resize the gradient and so on. You can mess around with it, heart's content. And of course you can make it look more like the word gradient by manipulating it there. So you can at least see grad and gradient there. And of course, to make it even easier to move things around, because of course I've created this now, what you can do, simply select all of those, all selected in the layers panel, and you can right click, and then you can go to group. And now they're all grouped. It makes it just easier to manipulate that. So you can resize that, move it around, and apply additional effects. And of course, at any point, if you want, say you've finished with it, you've got your design, obviously you can save it, maybe duplicate the group, because you might want to still keep it for possible use. Maybe save it to the assets, because window, assets, you just save it away, store it for maybe another project. But you can then, of course, Go to layer and you can rasterize it. Of course, once you've done that, that's it for changing anything. So rasterize and you can see now the whole design has been rasterized. Then you can go to filters, distort, apply various effects, twirl, etc., Or maybe use a layer and live filter layer. So you can obviously keep it live, which is more adjustments just to manipulate it. Maybe go with black and white and so on to create different designs that way. Just going to undo that. So that's a quick way to manipulate the text in Finti Photo. Please subscribe to the channel, always adding new tutorials all the time. Also, a thumbs up, always appreciate, or a thumbs down if you don't like the video. And also, any comments if there's something you just really don't like, or maybe you know of other ways of manipulating the text. Always great to hear. Bye.